onwards. And when I find the track that I want to, to play, I slide from left to right. So now it's selected and I start playing it. And it's out into the speaker system right now. This is the crossfader. So if I go with the crossfader all the way left, that's channel 2. And channel 2 is not playing yet, so that is why it's quiet. So it's channel 1. And then this is the bend pitch. So I'm not pushing anything, I'm just moving backwards now. And you hear that it slows the track down. And it goes back. And then I can push the track forward by doing that. So this one, this track is now playing in channel 1, then I go to channel 2, uh, I select another track, and then I have to listen to this track in the headphones, so I press this button here, it's a very special button, uh, press it downwards, and now it's headphone control. So the crossfader is now for the headphones. So I set the crossfader for the headphones to play on the channel 2. So I'm gonna listen a bit in the headphones. At the same tempo, it's both 126. And then the equalizer, it's a finger in the middle, go upwards, increase the treble, increase the middle. Same thing to go back. So that's the new track, it's channel 2 playing. Um, and I'm currently in channel 1. So I'm gonna select a new track on channel 1. So I dot in the middle to get the track list. And I select the track. And this track has 128 BPMs and this one 126. So you remember this button pulled downwards switches the crossfader to be for the headphones. Uh, but if I press this upwards, the pacemaker symbol will go up and advanced features will be enabled. So now if I go backwards here, you can see the tempo is decreasing. So I just set it to be the equivalent of the track playing. And now we're gonna go back into the headphones, listening to the new track.